A processor can execute n instructions in t microseconds time with an average CPI which is cycles per instructions of x. n is 1500, x is 6 and t is 13.5. So what will be the clock rate of the CPU in gigahertz? So we are given that clock cycles per instruction is x. That means one instruction requires x clock cycles. So the number of clock cycles required by n instructions would be n into x. Now the execution time, if this is the number of clock cycles, if we multiply this by the clock cycle time, so if we do n, x into the time of the clock cycle, this will be the total number, uh, uh, the execution time of the n instructions. And this t, we know that it is inverse of the clock rate. So we can write as n x into 1 upon f. So the execution time would be n x into 1 upon f. And this is given as t microseconds, t into 10 to the power of minus 6 to convert it into seconds. So what will be the value of f? If we take this equation, then f can be computed as n into x into 10 to the power of 6 upon t and this value will come out in hertz. n is given as 1500, x is 6 and t is 13.5. So if we compute this, we get this value in hertz and we know that gigahertz is 10 to the power of 9 of this, so 10 to the power of minus 9 would be gigahertz. So if we do this into 10 to the power of minus 9, we will get 0 0.67 as our answer. The second example is that a CPU runs at 80 megahertz and executing instructions with average cycles per instructions, which is our CPI as 1.6. So what will be the MIPS? MIPS we have done earlier is million instructions per second count of the CPU. You can check my earlier video on processor performance to understand what is MIPS. And in that we had discussed that the throughput, which is the instructions per second, can be given by F, which is the clock rate, upon CPI, which is the clock cycles per instruction. So the throughput is instructions, which is 80 into 10 to the power of 6 which is our f and CPI is given to us as 1.6. So if we divide this we get 50 into 10 to the power of 6. Now what is asked in the question is MIPS or million instructions per second. So we have to divide this throughput by 10 to the power of 6 which is a million. So dividing this by 10 to the power of 6 we get a value of 50. So the MIPS for this system is 50.